So team keep it clean These are my least favorite videos to make Because it's nothing But even though it's alleged right now It's just alleged So there have not been any charges Any convictions Anything like that um, But you don't even like to hear stuff being alleged Especially something like this And what's crazy about this whole thing uh, One of my guys He sent me something about this on Sunday because there was some rumors and some stuff going around about this on Sunday That's when it really started floating around uh, That this was a possibility And I was just, I told him, I said, I, I really hope it ain't true I really hope that this is just something that somebody made up But and we still don't know if it is or not But what we do know is that it ain't good uh, Let's just read this report straight from the Baltimore Banner it says police investigate Ravens wide receiver Zay Flowers in alleged domestic assault. So just from the title alone, um, it's ah, yeah, it's that's bad. That's again, it's alleged. So no convictions or anything like that. It's alleged. So we don't know, but. The fact that it's, it's even at this right now is not a good thing at all. Um, let's read the report and then we'll get into everything else. It says, Baltimore County Police are investigating an alleged domestic assault involving Ravens wide receiver Zay Flowers. The Baltimore banner has confirmed. The investigation also includes a police department in Acton, Massachusetts, which acknowledged a domestic violence incident report related to an incident in Baltimore County last month. And involving flowers Acting police declined to release the report Citing state laws that keep confidential communications Between victims and police in cases of domestic violence Or sexual assault An acting police spokesman also cited the law And declined to answer questions on the matter When asked if they were investigating flowers Baltimore County Police also acknowledged That the department had been made aware Of an alleged assault in the Owings Mills area On January 21st a spokesman said the matter was pending and the department would not release additional details at this time. Flowers has not been charged with a crime. It was not immediately clear if he had an attorney. Ravens team spokesman did not respond to questions about the investigation. Flowers agent Zach Hiller did not immediately return messages Thursday afternoon. Flowers played in the AFC championship game a week after county police received the report. And then the last paragraph just talks about his stats, I mean, we'll just go ahead and read it. It says, Flowers, who was a standout at Boston College, was the Ravens' first-round pick in 2023, and is coming off the best season for a first-year Ravens receiver in franchise history. He set rookie records for catches and receiving yards and added six total touchdowns in 16 games. Flowers also led the Ravens in the playoffs with nine catches for 156 yards in the touchdown, though his goal line fumble in the championship game proved costly in a 17-10 loss to the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, and now this part. This is the part that when I first heard about this whole thing, um... Obviously, beyond football, it wouldn't be good. Again, it's alleged, so we don't know anything for sure. But it just reminded me, like, because it's just, it's just scary to think about. Let, let's, let's just continue. Uh, it says, the issue of domestic violence has loomed large over the NFL since former Ravens running back Ray Rice was arrested and charged for assaulting his then fiance in 2014. The charges led to his suspension and eventual release, and since then, owner Steve Vichotti has largely held to a zero-tolerance policy for players accused of domestic violence. After drafting Flowers number 22 overall in April, general manager Eric DaCosta said the Ravens had done a lot of research on Flowers and hadn't come across any more impressive just face-to-face -face prospects that I've ever interviewed. So that is the end of the article. So not good at all. Um, very, very scary. Uh, very, very scary. And you just wonder about stuff. And I'll go ahead and just... Obviously, first and foremost, we hope that it that we hope that didn't happen uh, for all the rumors that were being put out there uh, early last week or Sunday. I guess that's technically this week since it was Sunday. But all the rumors that were being put out there that I had heard that, that, that my people sent to me, um, everything, the timing and everything, it, it lines up perfectly. But again, hopefully it's not true and hopefully they were just rumors because you never you hope nobody gets involved in something like that at all um 
But another thing, uh, you also think about what could possibly happen. Um, because we know with the Baltimore Ravens, with the whole Ray Rice thing, they didn't handle it the right way initially. Um, and but again, that is 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 different because it's it's just different. It's, it's different scenarios and whatnot. And again, I, I don't want to go too deep into it because again, it, there have been no convictions and no none of that. So it's still all alleged right now. But when you think about different scenarios and different possibilities, you don't think about anything good. You don't think about anything great coming of this. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's just really not good at all. I mean, I don't even know what to say about it. Um, I don't know I don't know um, So we'll just We just gotta wait We just gotta wait it out We gotta wait it out until More of the facts come out Until something more concrete comes out uh, But this is like uh, The off season is It can be the worst uh, Because the off season is just, but again, this this story didn't even necessarily stem from the off season though. It's coming out now, but apparently it happened January twenty first. So Ravens were obviously still active back then, and of course things can happen at any second. But yeah, this is just oh gosh, man, I I don't even know, man. I don't even know. So yeah. I'm at a loss for words. I don't even know where to go from here with this whole thing. Again, we just you just gotta wait it out and see what ends up happening or what doesn't happen and just go from there. So we'll see.